drug caused that rash of mine. Well, my assistant, Debbie the Data Pace, keeps, keeps track of all the medications our clientele get here. Oh, that reminds me. I must make a note of your drug allergy right away. Strange dear, but you dear, I love my computer, the screen fills my eyes, what a joy to computerize. John, my doctor told me to get this cream from you. Uh-oh. I hope this came in today. It was back ordered last time. Oh, good, we got it. So, Countess, uh, what else is new? I hear you're going back to Russia soon. Yes, I'm afraid it's the only thing that will relieve my aching heart. How so? Well, I'm in love with this most attending physician. He's quite the best looking doctor in the state. He looks after my physical condition and his bedside manner is great. He said my bronchial tubes were entrancing. My epiglottis filled him with glee. He simply loved my larynx and went wild about my pharynx, but he never said he he said my epidermis was darling and found my blood as blue as could be. He went through wild aesthetics when I showed him my lymphatics, but he never said he loved me. All right, here we are. Uh, this cream should help relieve the itching. Apply it sparingly one or two times a day. <laughs> Got you. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> Hello, We Care Pharmacy. Oh, other line. <laughs> Hello, We Care Pharmacy. Oh, hello, dear. Uh, no, I won't be home till late tonight. We're having another board meeting. <laughs> well, Joey can take out the garbage. Good morning. I was referred to you by the Acme sales rep. Oh, great. Excuse me? My name is Gilda Godmother, <laughs> Farm D. Well, I certainly can use some help around here. And a godmother would be great. <laughs> but it's important that uh, we maintain a more conservative professional image here. Why? Don't your clientele believe in wonder drugs? Are you suggesting that the prescriptions you fill extend beyond FDA-approved labeling? I'm not suggesting anything. I simply want a job. I'll have to think about that. My dear pharmacist, if I may persist, my training was the best. If you compromise, you should realize together we can take on the rest. I've proved sufficiently please reconsider the meaning of what a funny situation so excuse me my elation what a funny situation Oh, 
don't you come back at one this afternoon and you can work the late shift. <laughs> and please, dispense with the wand. My goodness, who's that young woman wandering around the card section? Hm. Well, that looks like Camille. Oh, hello, Camille. How are you doing? Oh, I don't know, John. I've got an earache, <laughs> a headache, fever. Aspirin upsets my stomach. Tylenol won't touch me. The doctor says I've got the flu. What am I going to do? Oh, there, there. <laughs> it's early in the morning and you're feeling so sick. Your temperature's high and the milk is as thick. It's the cramping, it's the fever, it's the flu. Your head's bad and the aspirin you've had is burning a hole in your gut, boy, that's bad. It's the cramping, it's the fever, it's the flu. You can see swollen glands, and the mucus coughs up like rubber bands, cause the bugs and the trots won't give you a chance. They've asked you to dance, we'll play the scene. So please don't scream if you're left gagging in quarantine. It's the cramping, it's the aches and pains, it's the pressure building within your brains. It's the fever, it's the virus, it's, it's the runs, it's the flu. 